Hello Geneva, and welcome to Officially Speaking. I'm your host, Kevin Starr. Each month, we sit down with one of our local elected and appointed officials to get the latest with your local government. Today, we're joined by Geneva High School senior, Prina Sarangabani. Prina, thanks for joining us today. No problem. Why don't you just tell our audience a little bit about the Student Government Subcommittee. I know it's kind of a newer endeavor, and it's actually part of our Strategic Plan Advisory Group. Yes, well, um, I am the high school representative for the Strategic Planning and Advisory Committee. Um, and then when I started doing that, I got to learn a lot about you know what goes on and how our city works, how we prioritize what we're gonna do, and kind of the background on how the city runs. Um, from that, you know, when I started that, I was kind of told that I was supposed to represent the younger community in Geneva and the views of the high school students. Um, because I was learning so much, we figured that it would be a good opportunity to really expand um, that process and to show other high school students what's going on so they can also um, be involved and share their voice um, just to be more inclusive and stuff. So. That's where student government was born. We wanted to kind of show what goes on here. And what's the general reaction amongst your friends? I'm sure you're the coolest kid in school <laughs> when you tell them that you're part of the student government committee with the city of Geneva. Yeah, well, it's actually one of the cooler clubs at our school because we work here. You know, our meetings are here. People love to be where all these decisions are made, um, where all these discussions go on. So people really find it cool to integrate you know school and the city coming here we get to meet a lot of the officials we get to interact with them um, that's something that's a pretty unique experience that I, our club offers and people get excited about and why do you feel it's just so important to get teens involved in being knowledgeable about their local government um, well teens aren't going to be teens forever right? so um, a lot of our seniors are voting age one of the biggest things that we wanted to focus on when starting student government is that um, a lot of people, when they think of elections, they only think of the presidential elections. Um, most people aren't even aware there is another set of them. Um, and so us being high schoolers, getting up to that age, we wanted to make sure that we knew what we were talking about. You know, it's a great responsibility voting. Um, and it's, a, it's an honor, a privilege that we have. Um, to, so to recognize and appreciate all that our city does and then put our voice into it, learning how to do that is a very important process. And one of the popular programs that uh, the city and the Geneva High School have been involved in the past few years has been the Student Government Day. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about what that program entails? Right, um, so twice a year we do this field trip program, Student Government Day. In the morning, um, we spend going um, and shadowing city officials and different people who work for the city um, just to see what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis, what goes on. Um, then we have lunch with these officials, um, people from the school board, just an assortment of people who work with and for the city. Um, that gives students to really have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, ask any questions they have. Um, then after lunch, we have two different programs that we alternate towards um, or between. We come here and there's a round table discussion. It's pretty much an extension of our lunch conversations. Um, we split up into small groups and we have a chance to really um, ask and comprehend what goes on um, directly from the source, directly from the people who are working. The other program we have um, is our mock city meeting where students are able to act as aldermen or as citizens um, and discuss different decisions that the city is making. One of the cool things about that that really gets people excited is the last time we talked about an issue, it was about the coyotes. Then when the city came and the issue was presented to them, um, the council was able to hear our judgment on the issue and what we thought, and they actually were able to take that into consideration when making their decision. So that was a really cool way of directly showing you know, how us as teens, even though you know, we don't think that we have a voice, we are really able to be involved in our city. And we talked a little about this at the beginning of the show, but uh, Student Government Committee is part of our Strategic Plan Advisory Committee. Can you tell how your two groups interact with each other and how you help each other out? Yes. Um, we are very fortunate to have the City um, Assistant Administrator, Stephanie Dawkins, help us out with all of our meetings. Um, when we talk about issues and stuff, you know, we all are high school students, so we don't know, you know, all of the facts, and she definitely is there to help us out. Um, and then even, she, she plays the same role in SPAC, so it's really cool to see those questions um, come up in the two different groups and the different ways that we respond to them and the different ways that students perceive them. 
Um, we also found out when we started this that some of our members have parents that work in different subcommittees. Um, so we're able to kind of work together and you know make sure we're volunteering and doing stuff within the community and within our subcommittees. So. And I know this is a relatively new group, but what are some of the goals or mission that you hope to accomplish in the coming year? Um, last year we did a lot of discussion about um, different issues like um, labor unions and coyotes and things that the city has to go through on a daily basis. Um, this year we want to kind of focus on introducing the strategic plan, um, the process that goes through that. Um, we also want to talk about the types of um, etiquette and stuff that goes through a meeting, the types of vocabulary that you would use, just so students are aware, you know, um, that if they're looking at this as a career or they want to participate in more, um, how they would present themselves and how they would really get involved in that. And I think you mentioned uh, to me in, in private that you guys had helped out with our Natural Resources Committee and some other groups in the city too. So you've also been able to pitch in and help with their endeavors. Yeah, it's really great. Um, everyone has been so welcoming. We are new, so um, all of these officials have come up and um, told us and other high school students that anything we need help with that we can do. So really that interaction um, is really valuable to us. So we appreciate it. Can any student be part of our student government committee or is it by invitation only? No, we accept any students. A lot of our students right now in the club are upperclassmen, so we're really looking forward to some underclassmen taking a lead and really getting involved in the club. And how would someone go about finding more information about the student government committee? We have our Twitter page. Um, our handle is ghsstudgov. And then um, we also have our meetings the third Thursday um, at seven o'clock right here at City Hall. And soon we'll be creating a uh, city web page for you that you'll be able to find at www.geneva.il.us too. Thank you. <laughs> that is all the time we have for Officially Speaking today. I'd like to thank Pranita for her time and insight into the Student Government Committee. Thank you so much for having me. We also thank you for watching. We'll be tuning in next month to the official word on your local government. <laughs> <laughs>